Disruptive innovation uh, is really coming about with the emergence of a lot of data uh, in the marketplace, both structured and unstructured, uh, and very innovative companies using that data in a business context. So, you know, the one that's well known really is Uber. That's the classic one uh, everybody talks about. But I think if you look at other industries like the hospitality industry, Airbnb is a great example of, you know, effectively a hotel chain that's got more rooms than a lot of the traditional hotel chains that, you know, that we know about. Um, we can look in the retail space with, uh, you know, Chinese companies like Alibaba. Uh, again, they own no inventory. You know, they, they be, they've, they've become a platform for aggregation of consumer goods. Um, so I think, you know, every industry is starting to see uh, these new entrants emerging uh, and really basically disrupting their, their traditional business models completely. Someone said to me the other day that the San Francisco taxi company, which was founded back in the early 1900s, has now filed for bankruptcy really as a result of Uber, you know, and we all use Uber. I mean, it's a fantastic service compared to traditional taxi companies. For those of you that may have traveled in a taxi in New York, you know, the experience of a yellow cab in New York uh, compared to an Uber black cab uh, are very, very different, you know, in all respects. Um, so, you know, I think the other thing that we, we really see uh, coming of age now is great design. You know, in, in IBM, our relationship with Apple uh, is one of the components that's teaching us how to design beautiful products. Because when you design beautiful products, you get great customer interaction. Um, and you know, so the announcement we made with Apple a couple of years ago is now translated into IBM becoming the largest, you know, one of the largest digital agencies in the world. And just in the last six months, you know, we've acquired three digital agencies in Europe. So we're really pushing that, uh, that element of design as a way of uh, really embracing customer experience. I think South Africa has always been technically very savvy. Uh, I was actually at dinner last night with a, with a small startup, uh, you know, who looking at, you know, how they engage with big enterprise and perhaps we can come back to, you know, how to, what's the role of big enterprise in fostering startups. Um, but uh, yeah, from a technology point of view, you know, it's all there. I, I often quote the, well, you know, one of the quotes that I often use is, you know, two people sitting in a Starbucks cafe actually have as access to as much computing power as the likes of IBM and, you know, and, and some of the other large well-known well -known names, just by virtue of the fact that now, you know, the public cloud is readily available, um, you know, and people don't need to necessarily own infrastructure um, you know, and large companies that are providing public cloud infrastructure are seeing the demand for people wanting to innovate on those platforms and therefore they're starting to build, you know, software and applications and providing those, you know, uh, on a software as a service basis uh, out into the market. So, you know, um, as IBM, we're seeing some fantastic innovation. We ran a, a breakfast briefing a couple of weeks ago, uh, small companies using our cloud and our uh, development platform called Bluemix. Um, they've started a company on the web, you know, m a mobile application company basically selling cattle uh, on the web. You know, they've got a hundred cows uh, and it's really interesting because what they tell me is that most of their clients are Santon investment bankers. You know, so what, what they're able to do is very quickly get into the market and then what they're able to do when they start to look at all the data that sits behind is they're starting to understand their customers, they're starting to therefore adapt their, the, you know, their offerings very, very rapidly to the specific needs and the demographics of their customers. So, you know, that's one instance of, uh, you know, of innovation. You know, I think there's many more.